Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor out here in this 2024 200 uh, Pro V. Beautiful boat. See how stable this sucker is. Big, large windows you can see out of. Open them babies up. You got a VHF. Uh, okay, if you want to do your uh, volume, you just push in there. Push again and does your squelch. Clear brings you back. Up and down does your channels. And then... Um, you have to go into these you just push that clear and it says weather up in here and then you hit your weather and then it does your weather pretty self-explanatory on that now this is a little close right here there's not much you can do there because if you go out it's going to hit this that doesn't worry me but when you do run it you got to move that ahead so this thing goes all full throttle instead of that being in your way there uh now this i'm pretty sure they ordered one but this needs like a navionics uh chart chart put in it um because like right now you don't have any built-in base maps that's why it's all blue and you just see yellow for the land so most of these he does order and i'm pretty sure you can get one for this uh right back here yeah i'm pretty sure that comes out I can't imagine selling this thing. Yeah, it does. So it's right back there. That's a newer unit. It's actually pretty good. So anyway, uh, we need to tighten up the transducer on that because when I was going, it says I'm in 2.7 feet right here. See, I'm not getting any reading and I did before. See, I am not getting the box. So we need to tilt that down and tighten it up a little bit. <clears throat> but what's kind of nice on here, say we're on this one, and I just want to change it like to 3D vision. I can just hit that and there's my 3D vision. Satellite fix lost. I shut the key off, turn it on so you have to let it reboot. But see we're getting a reading there. So now I want to just go back. I can go scroll up in here and I want to do my regular sonar. That brings it back. So you go over here, you don't have radar, GPS. This is your uh, fish finders. So I set up some numbers for you. I did an A scope on you, put the la uh, depth labels on it instead of the fish symbols. It just gives you an idea. Uh, I would be looking over here if I seen a little blob right there and I looked over here and it was kind of these colors, brighter red in the center with an arch, that's a fish. So you go back here, you go over here, and it gives you some more options. I got like a quad for your fishing set up here. Boom. Nice. R real easy to use basically. And alarms, you can just go into alarms. I set my the sonar off right now, so you gotta remember uh, to let me know to turn that baby back on. It's right into here. Water temp alarm, depth water alarm. Where are you? Shallow water, shallow water, I just seen it. My eyes are going. Minimum Somar depth right there. So I'm gonna turn that on. I can withstand the beep a little bit. And depth, and we're gonna turn that on right there. It's gonna go beep, 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 because of course we need to, and that tells you that it's working. So for right now, I'll just whip her right back into this, in the chart. So now what we're going to do is put this back. Now when this motor is cold, you want to lift that red lever, push it in, give it like all the way down, about five pumps, bring it back, lift the lever until it stops there, then give it two inches up, push and turn the key. If it acts like it's going to die, push. And then when it's up in here, you hear the RPMs going up, bring it down, it'll drop it, and then they come back up, slowly bring that lever until you can go all the way like that. But once I fired it up, you should just have to turn it on but uh, anyway, you want to make sure you turn the motor down. There you go. Then you go over here, turn it on. Put it in gear, go. Leave the main motor down when you're using the kicker. It gives you better steering. So right there, we're doing 3.4, four miles an hour. Of course, we're going with uh, outgoing tide. So five, so if I go the other way, uh, probably it isn't moving that fast, two to three miles an hour. So I'll whip it back this way. And there you go, so let's see. So we did four to five that way, we're doing seven, so that means we got an incoming tide right now, is what we got. 
29 miles an hour. So bring that baby out, it turns good. Shut her off, trim it up. The old hair goes clunk. So now we're reading 18, 19 feet. Which is still off, I believe, because we should be in about, well, that could be about right, because the channel's over there. So, we can bring that there, just turn this key on here, put it in gear. We'll see what kind of, if we've got a depth reading now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go into this one. You got it, oh, I set your, reset your cam sensor for you. It's down to one bar right here, it was up to here. It's in a setting, pretty easy actually. All you have to do is hit your mode button for like four seconds, release it, then hit, uh, no, the set mode for four seconds, and then hit the mode for one second, then it comes up to number two. You gotta have the motor not running, shut the key switch off, turn it on. Anyway, just call me if you have a problem. 12 volt PowerPoint. I showed you all this stuff. Build your light well. They need is just the power. You got, aha, uh -huh. see, now it, it isn't working. You got build pumps and wipers, uh, nav lights. Okay. See, I might have to check that. I don't think I got, oh, there you go. See how I kill the power? Now that means I got my lights. I'm gonna try to see how I, I'm gonna see if that works again because I had to hit this reset. Horn works, courtesy lights. Now it just blew it, I just heard it. So nav, see how your nav lights, and now I push that reset and it comes on. So there's something in the light well is not wired right. So I was right on that. Come back here, dry as a bone. Okay. So if I put the light well here, I'm gonna see how long that goes before it kicks that off. So I showed you the kicker, we're on here, really nice package. So we're gonna hit it just a little bit. I bring it up slowly. Yeah, see the depth finder's working now again. So, well that's working before it kicks up. I'm gonna hit the power. I'm gonna go into, over here, go into the four. There you go. So there's your real view. Your sonar, your down, your side. Then you can hit this and see how you can move this all over. Blue, just like air coming off our motors, bubbles. Anytime you get the yellow is on the bottom. Whoop, right there. The green, nah, nothing to be too concerned about, but they are on the bottom. But if you start to get yellow and red down here on that, then that's fish. So we're doing nine, nine miles an hour. Now that's still on now, but if I hit this light well up here, I bet you, that kicks that off. I'll just keep an eye on it. See how that is hitting right there? You gotta put that ahead. Hit it. Trim it up. See, I kicked it off. 40 miles an hour and that's against it. I would say cut off of that, it's about 38, going, uh, going against, going with, it's about 41. That's doing actually pretty good through this. This is stuff I like to take boats out. Like a half second, sec, half a second, second apart. Uh, just a little bit of wind on top, about maybe a half a foot. That's how you test if you're gonna get a good right boat. But now I'm gonna, see you got a little bounce and just stop, that's what I was saying. But the faster you run it and trim it up, the smoother it's going to be, see? So sometimes speed doesn't kill. All right, this is a 2024 20-foot uh, Pro V 75 uh, anniversary edition. So they got to look at that live well. Okay, bring that baby back again, but you might as well just leave it there. That thing's running, just leave it in gear there. Ooh, there's some fish right there. See, boom, boom, boom. See these yellow and red right there? You see them right there at 20, at about 20. I'm gonna change that up. Right there, see how deep they are. At 27 feet. So they're right on the bottom. See, right there. So that works pretty good.
right there, there's one at 14. Let's get real good depth finder. Then if I touch this, if I touch this and this is highlighted, that pertains to that menu. You can put all the auto, yes, no. Yes, and there you go. Then I can go like this. And then I can change the angle of that. I can go above and look down on it. And then you can zoom out. That way you can see what's on the bottom. So that red is on the bottom. See, you have some bait down there. All right, this is the Boat Doctor out.